What's up everybody? Welcome to my trim video. Now, especially if you are pretty proficient with Revit, then you'll know how easy it can be to trim walls to roofs. It initially will come up with a little pop-up saying, would you like to trim this wall to this roof? And you just say yes, and it will do it for you. So once you transfer over to Archicad, it can be quite frustrating not having that sense of ease in using the program and not knowing where to go to get the same results. Now, as you can tell by the title, we will be discussing not just how to trim walls to roofs, but how to trim any element to any other element practically. And this will make more sense as we get through the video. But let's get to it and let's start with this most simple trim element that we'll do most likely, most often throughout our projects and that's trimming walls to roofs. So there's three main ways you can do this. The two easiest ways I will show you here right now. You just select both elements, right click, and there you go. Crop the single plane roof and that will get you the results you want. Make sure crop element to top is selected and there you go. You've trimmed a wall to a roof successfully. Now, there's another way you can do it and it's practically the same method. Highlight both, right click, move the over to connect, trim elements to roof and shell, use roof shell from current selection, and oh, bam, you got it right there, same result. Now, this works, but it is limited because this is very specific to walls and roofs. Now, we know that when you need to trim walls to different surfaces, such as floors and stairs and whatnot, it starts to get a bit more complicated and there's different ways of doing that. The third option to trimming um, objects to each other is more so a universal uh, way of doing it on Archicad. It is somewhat more complicated, but I encourage you to stick it out, keep watching the video and learn this third way. So what we can do to get this option going is there's two ways of opening it. It's selecting the elements you want to trim together, right click, go to connect again, but this time you want to open solid element operations. This will open up this nifty little window here. Another way of getting this is you can just go straight up to design and you'll have solid, solid element operations right there as well. So what we do with solid element operations is we have three main things that you need to look for. You have target elements, get operator elements, and choose operation. Now, the best way that I've learned to remember these things is when you have a target, usually you wanna hit the target, right? Um, so the target that we wanna hit or we wanna trim at this point is the wall. So that's your target. So what you do is you select your target, you say get target element and you can see targets has changed to one because we have one element selected. Next, we wanna get our operator elements. So we select the roof. So the operator elements is, I guess you could call the base or the foundation to what we want to trim to. So we select these elements. We say get operator elements and that makes it a one as well. Now we need to go to choose operation and for roofs, for this situation, we need to go and make sure we're doing an upward extrusion. I think it's pretty self-explanatory why that's important because we're cutting the top of the wall off. So once we have these three elements all ready to go, we just click execute and we get the result. Now you may be thinking, Jacob, this is ridiculous. That's a much longer process just to trim a wall to a roof. But you'll see here that Sorry, my emails has seemed to woken up. What we can do in this situation is we can do the same thing, select the wall, select the roof, and we can change what kind of operation we want to do. So we can do a downward extrusion, and this time we get a different result, obviously mimicking what it said it's going to do. Um, but what this is so effective for as well is for when we're doing different forms, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. So for the sake of demonstration, I will quickly draw a very typical shell. And let's draw a stair. I will draw a wall for the shell. And let's draw a wall running along the stair here, like so. Now I'm gonna raise the shell up a little bit. 
just make this wall bigger for example's sake. Now, if you remember from one of the first ways that we can trim walls to roofs, you will remember that it did say trim element to roof slash shell. So in this situation where you've drawn a shell instead of a roof, this process will still work perfectly fine. But with situations with the stair, it will not. The option is still there, but once you click roof the shell, it'll do nothing. You'll just get angry and start getting really frustrated with ARCHICAD and wishing that you never learned the program. So to avoid that, we use our solid element operations method. Now it's, as once again, it's the most complicated way of doing things, but once you get efficient in it, it applies to no matter what you need to trim elements to. So it actually becomes really easy. So once again, select targets, get operator elements, make sure you have upward extrusion, and well, bam, you get the result that you want. You trim that wall to the roof. And once again, same thing here with the stair. So you can go target element, operator element, which is the stair, upward extrusion, and there we go. Now what's really neat about this as well is that if say you wanna change the stair later down the track, let's change the design of this stair. You can see that the wall changed with it. So if we select the wall, you can see that it's mimicking that same design that it's snapping to. And say here with the shell, let's say that we move the shell up, we need to raise it. I'll raise it to 2.5. The wall moves with it. So when you're making changes throughout your design, it's not a fixed cut um, that you're going to regret down the track and your details are gonna go out of whack or whatever you're doing it will move with it, which is super, super effective. Now, let's do one more example, because you might say, well, Jacob, that's great, but I'm not trimming just one wall, I'm trimming five walls to a roof or whatever element you may be trying to do. So let's get into it. Just lost my spot. Let's draw a box. And this time we're gonna draw two different roofs. So these are two single plane roofs. Make sure they're on the right level. I'm gonna raise this roof a little bit higher. See what that looks like. There we go. Let's make sure that these walls higher it's a bit extreme but it helps in the long scheme now so what we're doing is we're trimming four walls to two different roofs and what a unique thing here is that we have one element in particular here on both sides that is going to be trimmed to two different elements so what we need to do is we take turns with the operator elements can and you select these target elements at your walls because that's what you're cutting operator elements upward extrusion and there you go and then you do the other side like so upward extrusion and there you go you get your result and you can fill in that gap put in some windows and you're on your way with your design now that's just to break it down what you can also actually do here which is really quick, is you just select all four target elements, select both your operator elements and execute and you get the same result. So ARCHICAD's pretty smart. It can adapt to whatever changes you're making. So let's say we're making, we're changing this roof to make more of a sawtooth roof design. It will adapt those walls to whatever you need to do. Let's say we make this smaller. The walls will go back to their original height and then you just add in another element and trim those roofs to that element. Now, I hope this video has helped you to learn how to trim things to walls, how to trim or trim walls to things and how to trim all sorts of objects. And for the last example, just for explanation's sake, just to show you how great this tool is, select the viewpoints. I'm gonna put in a chair and a column. We're gonna raise the chair up. Just make that 1500. 
and we're gonna do the exact same process. That's the operator. We wanna trim the column, so that's our target. That's what we wanna cut. Upward extrusion, execute. There you go, and you can trim columns to chairs. This just helps you see and understand that the solid element operations, as complicated as it may be compared to the other methods of trimming walls to roofs or whatnot, this just shows that this applies to whatever you need to trim objects to. So whether you're trimming a column to a chair, trimming a wall to a roof, it's the same method, you're gonna get the same results and it helps you in the long run when you're trying to figure out how to get on with your design. So I hope this video has helped. Please comment in the, make a comment in the bottom below so that I can know how to make these videos a bit better, what other information or questions you may have in regards to trimming objects to each other. And please like, subscribe if you want more content so that you can get on your way with ArchiCAD and become more productive and spend more time creating and less time crying. Appreciate you. Thank you. Ciao.